Good morning, fellow option traders. This is Jeff, and welcome to the Daily Scan for Friday, April 4th, 2014. All right, we have a lot of uh, stuff to clean up here on Friday, so let's get going. Uh, the numbers over here for the red stars were mixed. I guess you could say slightly short of the goals, and some uh, more slightly than others, but nothing really shocking. Today we have the unemployment report for March. Yes, that's right, for last month. So that would be the big one for today. Across the pond in Asia, pretty flat and mixed, so it's just it can't really make up its mind here in either direction for the most part. And in Europe, we are slightly bullish but not real strong. Okay, in the US, wrong one up here. Okay, in the US, uh, pretty much an average looking bullish opening right now. Uh, gold, nice pop overnight. And oil, a disappointing nice pop overnight there too. Uh, you would think typically that these numbers would be reddish if these are greenish so things are a little bit weird here okay um, this I want to talk about this Google thing that's going on here I had to send an email off to um, think or swim because I'm a little bit confused uh, nothing new on this end so GOOG was where I opened my 1090 put calendar and I paid $7.25 for it. So if I go and look at the position statement right now, it says it's G, it is now GOOGL. And under that symbol, I have these GOOG, GOOG um, options. Now, normally, when it looks like as though they halved the price. So if we take a look at a chart, here's GOOG and GOOGL is the one that looks like we're going to be trading under for us common folks with the Class C shares. Oh no, this is Class A. Um, so this, it looks like as though we're going to be trading under that symbol. But the price here has been cut in half. But the options, normally when there's a stock split, the options get cut in half to the strikes. That has not happened. It's also telling me that I'm up $180 on this. So if I was to here, I went and I said, okay, I want to close this trade. All I would, if I would sell it, I would make it, or get $1.80 for it. So that is not... profitable trade so it has no idea what I paid for it over here so I'm a very disappointed and think or swim on what's going on here I sent them an email and you know asked them to explain this whole thing to me so we'll see what happens uh, the other thing I want to cover right quick is I have next uh, soon I should say um, on EXC, I have the covered call that's going to be expiring pretty soon, and that is here in this account. Um, so what do I do? Do I let it go and let it get called out because it's very much in the money right now? If we want to do, take, let's take a look at a chart. Uh, the strike is at 31. The stock is currently at 33.78. So what would happen if I got called out on this? Well, this is what would happen over here. Um, here I have it calculated out. If I get called out for over the life of this, it would be since 1-9 of 2013, so I've had a little bit longer than a year, and it would have a 14.2% gain on it. So... Do I roll it? Now, if I was to roll it, 
we can go here let's go back here or we can actually go here and say we have a position on this no, I don't want to do it that way um, that's a 31 strike so if I went back here and just highlighted this and said analyze rolling trade so if I was to roll it I would collect a nickel not worth it because this account is um, I haven't converted it over to the uh, per contract so it is a order and a contract price on this so would be about thirteen dollars just to roll this and it only make on five dollars so I don't want to do that so how about moving it out to July I only get fifteen cents on that but I get to collect the dividend so now I have I have more risk because I'm pushing it out further if I went to October um, that looks promising so if I was to collect 42 cents on that that's forty two dollars minus about twelve dollars so I'd be like thirty dollars and I'd be able to collect two more dividends so that would be another sixty dollars so that would be another hundred dollars gain on this so if I was to just go here and change this to say 486 then it would be a 17 percent gain so that uh, that is a possibility so I will be thinking about that so I just undo that so I can get my formula back in there so that is something I might consider right now before this gets a little bit dangerous here because our extrinsic value is four and a half cents and right now it would be it would make sense for somebody to call some of these three thousand two hundred and fifty five uh, open positions here so whoever owns this can buy the stock at 31 it's currently at 33.78 so it would be profitable for them depends on what they paid for it of course but uh, here it's getting down to near zero on the extrinsic and that's when things start to happen as far as getting called out is concerned so I have that to think about all right so some fun stuff to do today I always like to have fun stuff to do Let's get going on our scan. Oh, and before I get forget, uh, I know I had some other stuff to cover. I did uh, exit Chipotle for a loss yesterday. Uh, I collected a dollar sixteen for it, and I exited for to buy it back was two dollars and twenty cents. So I lost what here eighty about a dollar on that on Chipotle and I entered let's look here close these up down here I entered uh, Baidu and Celgene yesterday so we will take a look at that and MasterCard the alert did trigger on MasterCard we had the alert set here where I had the arrow and it did come down and trigger it at the end of the day but then it pulled back up and I took a pass on it because I did not get my confirmation here so this is getting a little long in the tooth here I'm not going to do anything today for our next week's expiration so I will just hold off on MasterCard for right now alright let's get going here Apple still flat as a pancake and look at this MACD you're really disappointing me Apple it's just I wouldn't enter this even though we have a signal here we had a setup and we have a signal um, just no price movement you can still get our signals but if there's no price movement we want to stay out especially on a Friday
Amazon. Um, we tried to get up here. Did not work out for us. So we're taking a pass on that particular trade. Oh, you know what? My other lines here. I didn't save that study. I relo reloaded the um, style. And when I added the 70 and 30 lines, I didn't uh, save it, apparently. So, my bad. Um, but I'll put it in later. I'm not going to waste anybody's time today. Uh, nothing going here on Amazon. It's failed. All right, Boeing. Boeing, uh, well, maybe might be in a trend reversal. Don't know. This is really kind of a nice hook, and this is nothing to be afraid of here. This could be a very good 20 delta trade. If you're like a, you're right up here at a recent resistance, getting very close to it. So if you can get a 20 delta um, comfortably above uh, this recent resistance along here, um, this could be a very good trade. So I'm going to put this down as a 20 delta trade. Is there, if we look at the Analyze tab, is there anything for normal April expiration that could get us above that? And it's the 130 here. Um, that, would, that could be it. It could be a good one. Yeah, it could, it's gutsy. That could be a gutsy one. And really, you only have two weeks. And it's not showing me anything that says anything that it's going to tear through this because these are not very big movements. And they're very, you know, um, yes, it gapped up here, but during the day it's just wiggling around and not really doing anything. It certainly is range-bound on the daily. So that could be a gutsy move. Uh, all right, we'll think about that one. Baidu, let's do a risk profile on that. And here's what she looks like on the risk profile. Here's what it looked like yesterday when I got in it. I had to pick a strike way down here. Um, and it was a big stretch, but uh, I think that there's pretty good momentum going on here. Momentum's pretty high. Even though it's on the positive side, it's still pretty high. And, and one, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you know, a lot of times you don't get more than like five waves in here. Seven is usually the max. And here is just the one. So, that could be interesting. We'll keep an eye on that one for today. Celgene is also for today. I have my probability date set to Saturday, which is the real expiration. That's when they're settled is Saturday, based on the close on Friday. So, here's our probability. Here's what the chart looks like, and this, I didn't put the real time of the day that I got in on this, but it was a little bit after 10 o'clock in the morning. Chipotle, I did get out of that because I had a bull put on this, and I got a double red, so I got out. There's a lot. Yeah, there's quite a bit traded after hours. Okay, um, Costco is continuing its slide. It's having a really hard time getting up here. I don't see any 
high probability entries on that at this time. CVX, I did not get out of that calendar yesterday. Uh, I did see some negative price action, so I thought, well, I'll just hold off a little while longer and maybe I can recover some of my loss on this, maybe if she moves down to here. Let's take a look at the Dow. Hit a opened at a new high and then pulled back and then tried to recover after hours. Igor, uh, no high probability CSSB2 entries on that right now. Definitely on the march after its stock split. I'm happy for it. We have a dividend coming up and earnings, I would guess, in May. FedEx. Uh, still have that long put on that left over from the calendar. Um, May, let's see here. It's only a nickel. It's not I'm not going to get anything for that, so I'll probably just let it expire. Gold. Uh, have a covered call on that. That's in April. Um, it is now worth, collected 43 cents. It's now worth two pennies. I'll just let that one expire. And I'll look at the possibility. Gold's on the move right now. I don't think that there's anything really exciting. Um, analyze rolling the trade. Four cents if we go to April 4. Let's go out to June. 64 cents. Hmm. That, that might be a good one too. So I am going to take a look at gold today and over the next few weeks. To see if there's something that, especially if it's on the march again, sure would like to see it get back up here, you know, up to the 130 level, so then I can roll this 134. This is nice. That's not too bad. Okay. Um, and I don't know what's going on with Google. I'm not going to trade it until they tell me what the heck is going on there. Um... All right, IWM. I don't know why I have a target down here. Let's squish this down a little bit more. I really don't know why. Match these up. <clears throat> so that's invalid. I'm taking that out. Uh, but hopefully. We're still sort of in an uptrend. I don't know. It just turned red here. Meanwhile, the exponential is continuing up and trying to meet it. And red says, I don't want anything to do with you. I'm moving away. I don't know what's going on. I mean, it's, it's crazy. Um, but that's sometimes you see that stuff. I know I'm probably going to get a bunch of emails about analyzing the 50 MA. It just makes it a little screwy Louie if you ask me all right for sure we are in a downtrend with LinkedIn uh, this is sweet and I think we're gonna have a good expiration on this what is this short worth right now 17 cents so we'll keep an eye on it today I'm quite sure that uh, it's not going anywhere today uh, MasterCard, the alert did trigger on that, like we mentioned before, but no trade, no confirmation, take a pass on it, so I can get rid of this now. Now, um, will it give us one today? Yeah, but I'm not going to get in on it today, so I'm taking this out too. I'm not going to do any trades on Friday for next week. 3M. So why am I doing the scan today? Well, who knows what other opportunities may be uh, presenting themselves to us. Okay, I put, uh, looking for a bull put here, just based on the exponential. 
the um, simple moving average is still showing us uh, showing red right now but we may end up with a tradable opportunity here in the very near near future I know premiums not real good on 3m Netflix is continuing its slide where did we end up here? 69. So that's a 70. So that's alertable. If I would have had my other line here at 70, it would have visually looked like it touched it. So that's good enough for me. I mean, it's a, it's a good opportunity, I think, to get in on this. It took a pause, and is it going to continue down? I don't know. But what could I do for today? Hmm. Nothing. I said I wasn't going to trade CSS V2 today. I could do a 20 delta on this. What's a 20 delta look like for normal April expiration? Uh, yes, this is looking pretty good. You could actually do like a 30 delta at 370. And if we did that, It would give us about a 70% probability of expiring. Oh, this is for today. Of expiring in the money. No, this is normal April. Okay. Oh, this is a calendar, you dork. Come on. I say, wow, that's really juicy. All right, this is a two week trade. Uh, I'll take a look at the risk profile and. Move the probability date out to there. So if we were to move this to approximately break even, we're looking at a 70% probability that this trade will be successful. And we collect $129 and we risk 370. That's not too bad. So I'm putting them down for a 20 delta. Um, And I will also say that, uh, let's see here, 3M, that Netflix is also alertable. So I'm not going to put that in my text on the post for this, but it is alertable. All right, let's move to Priceline. I'm running a little bit late here. Priceline has given a very good, if you think that this is in a downtrend, this is an excellent, um, an excellent opportunity to jump in on this, and this is, could be a good 20 delta trade. I believe that it is in a downtrend, so I'm looking at this as a 20 delta trade. So we'll be uh, piling in on that. And the 20 Delta trades, I'm going to do them in my CSS V2 account because we're, you know, we're relying on these indicators and it is a credit spread. It's just not a um, ultra short term credit spread. And let's move to the Qs. Uh, the Qs, if you think that they're in a downtrend, this is a really good entry here as well. Uh, good possibility for a 20 delta trade if you believe that um, they're headed south. Spiders. Pretty much the same thing, but this uptrend is a little bit stronger than the Russells. I added TLT yesterday, and the reason why is, let's take a look at their chart. Look at this. Is this sweet or what? Are these just like prime opportunities? And it's up there, you know, it's up there around 100 bucks. So we're looking at a definitely a tradable situation here today so this is alertable and we 
this is going to be, let's watch it, kind of a deal here. So we're going to paper trade this uh, for next week with a CSS V2 and see if it uh, works out. I might even go live with this one. I mean, this is so strong. I mean, yeah, it's a little confusing back here, but lately it's just been giving us some really nice cycles. Tesla. Uh, Tesla, we are in. I did remember I, I went back to the video and I looked at what this, um, what we could have gotten in on the price for the credit that we would have gotten for this trade, received for this trade, gotten, I don't think is a word. Or it might be a word, but it's not a good word. So um, we collected a dollar four on this one, according to the video, which was um, back here. Which is a, um, I actually have this set up as a bull put. That's right. So we got our signal on the third day. And even if we would have waited that long, this trade, I did have it up there at that time. So, um, looks like as though it would pan out quite well. So we're late to the party for the next one. We need to wait for this opportunity here. And last but not least is Visa. We have an alert here that is no longer valid. It's just not working out for us. Uh, we're not getting confirmation on the MACD, so out with that. Okay, so we canceled the alert on that and we have 20 deltas set up for or thinking about for normal April expiration on Boeing Netflix Priceline and the queues and they are all bear calls and then I have to take a look at rolling the covered calls on EXC and gold so we'll take a look at the results for this week and hopefully I will get around to it and have them out there for you Monday to incorporate in the daily scan video for Monday morning. I hope everybody has a really good weekend. I think spring is here finally, officially. Well, it is officially, but at least from a weather perspective, it's had a little thunderstorm this morning, so that's always nice. So everybody have a great weekend. Um, have a good day, too, and happy trading.